We are working more developing news now, this time out of Johnston, where another settlement is reached in the dispute over odors coming from the state central landfill. The energy company Broad Rock Renewables, which was cited for health and safety violations in July, has agreed to pay the town $3 million and improve its operations to cut down on that smell. Iowa to News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us now live from Johnston with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Well, that press conference just wrapped up and the town of Johnston reached an agreement with Broad Rock. In that agreement, Broad Rock is giving the town $3 million. Also, all the violations will be dismissed against Broad Rock. And then also a third party will be brought in to manage the gas collection at the site. The mayor says he's giving Broad Rock a clean slate to start over. Broad Rock Renewables announced it has a new solution to the odor emanating from its Johnston facility, and this time it doesn't involve broomsticks or duct tape. I think we're, we're, we're in for the long haul. I, I can't guarantee it, but I can almost be assured that we're going to be in better shape than we were um, yeah, uh, yesterday. Today, the company and town announced they reached an agreement. Broad Rock Renewables will give the town an additional $3 million over the course of 20 years. Also, an independent third party will manage the gas collection. There are many for us to choose from. We want to make sure we choose the right one. So we'll engage in a process where we'll define the scope, we'll go out to bid, and we'll select a party that's, that's extremely qualified and will do a very good job for us here. Two months ago, town inspectors discovered duct tape and brooms holding equipment together after residents complained of a horrible smell. Broad Rock uses gas from the landfill to generate energy, but inspectors found the important step of conditioning the gas was being bypassed. All operations came to a halt. Now with this agreement, the town inspector is working with Broad Rock to move forward and get the facility up and running again. So far, the violations have been being corrected, and I'm on there, the site every single day, um, complying with the state law, and I'm inspecting the plans and any other potential modifications that they would have made. And I'm in the process of I'm in the process of completing this as we speak. And operations could start up as early as next week. So here's a breakdown of the money. Again, today, Broad Rock announced it's giving the town $3 million. Also, Resource Recovery is giving the town uh, $2 million. So a total of $5 million will be going into the town's capital improvement fund. So that money could be used for things like building improvements. Now, also, a couple of months ago, Resource Recovery already gave the town $3 million. That money is going to help refurbish the high school athletic complex. Reporting live in Johnston with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.